Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago I made a video about a cloud computing service called Shadow. It allows you to play PC VR games on your Quest or Quest 2 totally wirelessly and without a VR ready PC, which is a pretty big deal. Since then I've found out about a different service called Paperspace. It can be used for the same thing. In this video, I'll do a review and comparison of the two services, as well as a tutorial on setting up Paperspace. If you only want one section of that, there will be timestamps down in the description. However, before we get into the video, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by 2021, so if you want to join the Rat Gang and subscribe, I really do appreciate it. But for now, let's get on with the video. Before we start, I want to clarify really quick what these services are, if you don't already know. Basically, you rent a virtual PC, which you can then access remotely over the internet. It allows you to use a powerful PC from something like your laptop or phone. It basically means the performance is based almost entirely on your internet connection. If you're still curious, I go over it in a little more detail in my other video about Shadow, which will be linked in the description. I'm starting things off with my review of Shadow. If you want a tutorial, that link is in the description as well, and there's a short review in that video too. Since I made that video, I have found out a couple new things and my review has changed. My first impressions of the service were not great. I was getting pretty high latency, the world wasn't loading very well in games like Boneworks, and every once in a while it would just totally freeze and I would have to stop playing. After a little more testing, I found out that how well the service works depends a lot on the time of day and how busy the servers are. For example, playing from 4 to 6 p.m. works a lot better than 2 to 3 p.m. Also, I've started using a wired connection for my computer rather than wireless, and it has also drastically increased the performance and made my experience a lot better. Shadow is a great opportunity for anyone to try out the PC VR staples like Half-Life Alex, Boneworks, or Asgard's Wrath, just to name a few. The service is $15 per month, or $12 a month if you subscribe for a year. More about the pricing and the value for what you pay in the comparison. Now onto my review of Paperspace. I haven't used Paperspace a ton as of yet, but my first impressions are not great, at least for VR gaming. I've been having the same issues that I was originally having with Shadow, the high latency and the world not loading properly, both of which can get pretty annoying. Also, overall, I found the user experience to be clunky and not very well streamlined. It's a little more difficult to get all set up than Shadow as well. Also, please note I was not using the highest spec computer that they offer, just the one most comparable to Shadow specs. My high latency also could be due to the fact that I'm pretty far away from the servers, which are in New York, California, and London. However, I am a little disappointed that even with a wired connection, I wasn't getting super great performance. Overall, I think Paperspace is definitely geared more towards professionals and businesses that need a lot of computing than towards your average gamer. They offer a ton of customizability, and the whole user interface just seems more aimed at businesses. Now it's comparison time. Overall, I just had a better experience with Shadow. Once it's set up, all you have to do is click one button, and pretty soon your PC is up and running. It's just easier and more pleasant to use. However, Paperspace does have a few things going for it. First, Shadow currently only has one level of PC you can rent, and it's pretty good, but not insanely powerful. I know they're planning on adding more, but as of recording, they only have the one. With Paperspace, you get to choose from a large number of options depending on how powerful you want your PC, and how much money you have to spend. Paperspace is also more customizable, which is nice, but makes it more complicated. A big difference between the two is the pricing. Shadow is a flat $15 per month or $12 a month if you subscribe for a year. Paperspace has you pay based on the amount of time you use the service. For example, the PC I tested with was $0.32 cents an hour, which is pretty good. However, you also have to rent storage from Paperspace monthly. 
And to have enough room on the PC, you need to get the 100 gigabytes of storage, which is an additional $10 a month. I made a graph showcasing the prices of Shadow and two tiers of paper space, all using the 100 gigabytes of storage. The pricing for paper space is a little bit complicated, but you can end up getting a cheaper service using a mid-tier computer and not playing a ton. I definitely wouldn't recommend using anything below the pro tier, but I guess you can give it a shot if you want. If you subscribe for Shadow and get the $12 per month price, it's pretty hard to get a lower cost using paper space, even with the mid to low end PCs they offer. I do have a referral link for paper space in the description, which gets you $10 off. Also, I have a referral for Shadow. It doesn't get you any money off, but it does give me some Shadow credit. So if you want to use that, I do appreciate it. Personally, I'm going to continue using Shadow, but what you decide to do depends a lot on how much you plan to use it and how much money you have to spend. To finish out the video, I'll do a quick tutorial on setting up paper space. Again, if you need the shadow tutorial, that link is in the description. To set up paper space, the first thing you want to do is visit the paper space website and select the sign up button in the top right. Don't sign up with Google because at the time of recording they are having issues with that, so just enter your email and a password. After signing up, check in the top left and make sure the core virtual servers is selected, not the gradient machine learning. Select add machine and choose your settings. Make sure you select at least 100 gigabytes for storage because 50 isn't enough. I would also recommend changing the auto shutdown to one hour so if you forget to turn it off sometime you won't get billed for a bunch of time you aren't using the service. Go download the Paperspace app, link to the site is in the description, and sign in. You should see your machine under the Machines tab, launch it, and pretty soon a new desktop will show up. On this desktop, you need to install a few things. You need the Virtual Desktop Streamer, Steam, Steam VR, and the Oculus app. Once you have all this, just buy the PC VR games that you want. Now, strap on your headset and buy a Virtual Desktop. After this, open up SideQuest on your PC, not your paper space PC, just your regular PC. If you don't know how to do this, I will have a link to my tutorial in the description as well. Connect your headset and install the virtual desktop patch. And that's pretty much it. Put the headset back on, open up the virtual desktop streamer on your paper space PC, and connect the two. You can now play the entire PC VR library without a VR-ready PC and totally wirelessly. If you have any questions or need help, leave those in the comments or consider joining my brand new Discord and I will help you out. For now, that is going to do it for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, a dislike if you didn't, and if you want to join the Rat Gang and help me reach 100 subscribers by 2021, I really do appreciate it.